हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स ऑफ डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन आई एम डॉक्टर रूपाली कुलकर्णी एंड आई एल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू दिस कोर्स लेट एस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वाई यू शूड टेक दिस कोर्स वॉट आर द कंटेंट्स एंड हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू बेनिफिट यू वी लीव इन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी विच इज रेकग्नाइज बाय रैपिड ग्रोथ इन द फील्ड ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डेटा एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन हैज बीन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ अवर एवरी डेज लाइफ नवडेज मोर एंड मोर इंडस्ट्रीज आर नाउ बींग मोर डेटा बेस्ड because we live in a digital world that is that is we are surrounded by many of the digital instruments at all the times which either collect or produce lot of information at all the moments for example smart materials like smartphones uh, smart cameras or uh, the sensory materials or instruments like surveillance cameras or the digital transaction processing machines which produce lot of information at all the times so volume of the data is really been skyrocketed because this data is generated at all the time at large variety velocity and volumes according to ibm more than 90% of the data that exist in this world has been created over just past couple of years so uh, there exist much of the big data around us so many of the businesses are starting uh, taking most of the benefits from existence of this big data and uh, they have uh, redefining their business standards protocols procedures or business goals to take most of the benefits from this big data to enhance or expand their businesses this branch of uh, science which studies and analyzes the big data for the benefits of the organization is termed as data science now what is data visualization data visualization is a branch of data science that analyzes the big data and uh, produces the inferences that are drawn from analysis of this big data in from a in form of visuals or graphical representations these visuals help the business executives or the decision makers to make more effective and more informed business decisions for, for the growth of their businesses and hence this branch has got much important in the field called as business intelligence and it has opened a wide range of opportunity in the market uh, to start your career to name the few job titles they are data analyst data engineer uh, data architect or data visualization expert or consultant these job pro profiles are in great demand so um, what are the contents of this course and what, for whom the course is really is uh, if you want to develop your career path as a data uh, visualization expert or a consultant then this course is for you if you have interest in the field of data visualization then this course is for you or if you have got a very creative and analytical brain or you love computer science mathematics and statistics then this course will be really helpful to you what are the contents of the course uh, i'll be exploring you first with the few concepts of uh, data visualization then i'll be exploring various uh, display medias that are used to express the inferences from the analysis of big data uh, dashboard is a very important tool uh, in data visualization which is interface to the uh, business executives using which they take their business decisions so concept of dashboard will be covered and the related design principles of dashboard will be explored so these are the contents for you are you uh, interested getting um, insight of the subject then why are we waiting for let us start with the next session welcome back friends the topic of current discussion is benefit of data visualization let us first understand what is data visualization we know that nowadays many organizations are being more and more data based they are taking benefit of this data and uh, redefining their business protocols standards procedures or goals to make most of the uh, benefits from the data that has been collected and this is done by the uh, data visualization technique so what is data visualization it is nothing but the presentation of presentation of the data that has been collected in the organization in the form of graphical or visuals it helps the uh, people in the organization to understand what is happening with their data so they visually understand uh, the analysis 
of the big data. Uh, data visualization takes help of many of the display medias such as graphs, charts, maps and other infographics which present the inferences drawn from the analysis of the big data in the form of uh, pictures. So uh, what is next in data visualization is nothing but they analyze the big data which may be very high dimensional data and if presented in a textual format the business executives or the uh, one who are uh, trying to understand the data will not understand much or will have to put more efforts in analyzing the data itself but data visualization present this complicated information in a simple to understand graphics to the business executives or key persons in the organizations that is it's a very important tool in the uh, business intelligence now let us discuss what are the benefits of the data visualization. It enables to identify trends or patterns or even the outliers present in the data of the organization and generates the business in insights to discover the area that requires more attention or quick attention. Example, suppose it's a website like an e-commerce website and uh, it suddenly notices that uh, a product is in high demand in a particular city or area then increasing the area as sales rise for a particular product is an example of the uh, inferences that can be drawn from data visualization so uh, data visualization helps to positively affect the organization's decision making process because the information is presented through DB in a simple to understand man manner and quick to handle uh, format. Another benefit of uh, data visualization it it uncovers the relationship present in the entities of the large data. That is organization may be dealing in different departments like production, inventory, sales, accounting, customer relationship and all. But there are some patterns observed or uh, a process exists which is not noticed unless the data is collectively analyzed. So DB tool helps the organization to discover newer opportunities available in the business ecosystem for expanding the uh, business further. For example, if the sales department indicates that it has sales has gone down in the Nagpur city, then a decision can be to, um, uh, taken to further uh, a needful action on it. So uncovering the newer opportunities available in the market is one more important benefit of data visualization. It helps to set up new business goals or existing uh, business goals can be redefined or retuned according to the inferences given uh, or obtained from the DB tools. Another benefit it DB enables better predictions for the growth of the businesses. Example. Uh, product reviews that are obtained uh, uh, on a website, they advise to increase inventory in Mumbai city as demand may grow for the product. Suddenly the analysis done from the uh, sales of a product indicate that this product is frequently purchased and hence there may be very much uh, demand for this product in the coming future. So such predictions can be drawn by analyzing uh, this big data that has been collected and DB tools enable it. Another benefit, it exhibits the correlations and association present in data. For example, if it is an e-commerce website, then uh, we may uh, see a pattern that if a customer is buying product X, then he may buy also a product Y. So if this combination is frequently uh, seen, then we can engage the customer more by giving some combo offer or discount coupons. So business can be enhanced in this way when the analysis finds some correlations in the uh, data. DV can show trends over time and uh, frequency analysis. Now what is this? In a particular uh, season, maybe festive season, certain products are bought again and again by the customers. So uh, that particular time, in that particular time, 
the products can be uh, inventory can be increased sale can be increased by taking into consideration the demand looking at the uh, inventory or the uh, social media reviews that is running a discount coupon or uh, offer program during festive season can be uh, a dv analysis which is nothing but a frequency analysis because frequency of purchase in this particular season is found high data visualization also enables examining and reacting to market condition for better enrollment of the prospectors for example if a customer is found to visit a particular website again and again and uh, reading the reviews about a product then he may uh, it can be guessed that he will he is likely to buy uh, this product in future so promotional emails can be sent to that customer or some discount uh, offers can be given to that customer so uh, reacting to this market or examining and reacting to the market condition for better conversion of the prospect into the subscribed customer can be done through data visualization tools it also generates risk and reward analysis for us for example uh, if the readings taken from a particular machine uh, or a digital instrument show that they are not in regular pattern then there is a possibility of fault in that particular machine so such fault detection uh, and fixing can be done in advance so thus it can generate the uh, possibility of risk early in time and the organization can deal with such possibility in advance so to summarize there are benefits of data visualization like getting quick analysis exploring the business insights taking more informed and effective business decision discovering new opportunities available in the market handle the potential risk or the rewards that may come uh, through the business do better prediction for growth of the business better examination and reaction to the market conditions and hence enhancement of the business so these are the benefits of data visualization so are you excited to take a deeper dive but wait there are some challenges also which may which we have to think before uh, db tools can be used by a organization so what are challenges in uh, data visualization they can be of two types either they are uh, at organization level or they are at the data expert level if we think of organization level challenges then selecting a tool or a platform for data visualization is a challenge because a wide variety and the range of products are available in this sector of data visualization so uh, they are available with various features then various uh, skill sets are required and of course prices are there so uh, investment in which product is to be done how much time money and uh, manpower is to be invested whether we should buy the in house products or we should use the cloud platform for utilization of uh, data visualization is a question to the organization and they also have to find proper uh, manpower of expert uh, with required expertise or technical skills and of course conversion of uh, the insights that that they get from the inferences of data visualization to get the optimum output is also a challenge because dv will analyze the data and will present you multiple inferences but Uh, the organization key force or the task force should be ready to uh, convert these insights into actual uh, actions uh, to the data experts also there are certain challenges like uh, they are analyzing your data for giving you good uh, or useful inferences but access to a data in an organization organization can be a problem Uh, access they want to analyze the data so data should be available to them but there can be digital or um, human hurdles in getting access of the data quality of the data for data analysis should be good uh, it should be in a format required by the different data visualization tools it should be noise free redundant uh, redundancy free and it should be a consistent uh, data to be analyzed further so getting quality of data for a data visualization is another challenge uh, veracity of data means trustworthiness of the data 
वॉट एवर डेटा यू आर ऑपरेटिंग और हैंडलिंग शुड बी ट्रस्टवर्दी शुड बी ट्रू इट शुड इट शुड बी अनबायस डेटा ओनली वेन द डेटा परसिस्ट धीस क्वालिटीज द डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन इन्फरसेस देर इज देर इज अ सेंस टू बिलीव इन दोज इन्फरसेस चॉइसेस ऑफ द टूल्स एंड प्लैटफॉर्म्स इज अनदर हर्डल दैट इज फ्रॉम अवेलेबल डिफरेंट वास्ट वरायटी ऑफ प्लैटफॉर्म्स और टूल्स विच शुड बी यूज बाय अ डी वी कंसल्टंट वॉट स्किल सेट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मैनेज दिस टूल्स एंड प्लैटफॉर्म्स इज ऑल्सो क्वेश्चन अ डी वी कंसल्टंट फाइनली हैज टू प्रेजेंट हीज आउटकम्स टू द बिजनेस एग्जीक्यूटिव्स सो दैट दे टेक फर्दर डिसीजन्स सुटेबल टू देअर बिजनेसेस सो ही नीड टू हैव गुड प्रेजेंटेशन एंड कन्विन्सिंग स्किल्स सो दीज आर सम सॉफ्ट स्किल्स दैट आर दैट नीड टू बी देअर एंड रियली अ पर्सन हैज टू वर्क ऑन दिस रिफाइन पॉलिश दैम सो दैट द आउटपुट्स ऑफ द डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन कैन बी कम्युनिकेटेड टू द एक्सपेक्टेड और इंटेंडेड ऑडियंस this dv expert is dealing with all types of people in the process right from data collection to data presentation so he has to uh, deal with all types of people maybe techno savvy non techno savvy maybe a person who daily sees the operation and the person who will once in a while like business um, executive or a managing director or a ceo of the company will see the inferences so he needs to have that ability to convince all sort of people and of all the uh, audience of different levels this person has to uh, balance between the beauty and understanding of the outcomes of data visualization so not only he has to uh, present the outcomes assertively in a easy to understand manner but at the same time uh, he is handling complicated data so uh, he also has to present it in a understandable manner so these are some challenges in front of the db consultant so loving this opportunity and challenges in the data visualization so do not forget to see the resource section of this uh, session there is link there are some link provided for more reading and more insight of the session so let us take a deeper dive and move to the next topic which is nothing but uh, display media that are used for Uh, that are used in uh, data visualization tools welcome back friends topic of current discussion is display media used in data visualization now a data visualization we know that it's a presentation uh, of data in graphical or visual format organization collect lot many information uh, from different resources so that they can better service their customers this is called as big data and data visualization is nothing but a uh, technique or a tool which helps the organization to take more informed and effective business decision through uh, the outcomes of data visualization that are nothing but graphical images or the visuals using which organizations take uh, more effective decisions for the enhancement of their businesses so dv tools help the people to understand the data visually uh, that is present in the organization and to present this information the data visualization techniques use various sorts of display media now what is display media these are nothing but uh, a read set of library of presentation tools such as graphs charts maps and other infographics that is used to present the analysis of the data after analyzing there will be inferences of the uh, from the analysis and these inferences are to be presented in form of visuals and this set of visuals is nothing but display media so there should be a very keen uh, decision of what a, a dis display media is to use or display medium is to use to uh, put a particular inference in front of a business executive or the decision maker because it should present a higher uh, perspective uh, at the organization level or the enterprise level to take the further decision so uh, our inference um, or the our way of putting the inference should be very clear and uh, through the display media we are presenting this inference so choice of the display media should be proper to let this information reach 
to the uh, your intended audience and hence keen um, thinking or uh, analysis has to be done that what display media should i be using to present the inference if it's of x type if it is of y type and so on so uh, there should be a careful choice about the display medium or the graph or chart you are using now let us understand um, what are different uh, graphs or charts that are available to uh, tell these inferences to the intended audience how to choose the display media is a discussion before that now goal here is not to turn just the information into an image but through that image we want to communicate the proper insight which is hidden in the data that has been analyzed so uh, be very clear that we just not have to present an image graph or chart but that choice should be such that the hidden information or the uh, discovered pattern should be uh, wisely communicated should be rightly communicated to the intended audience so goal is not to turn information into image but to communicate proper insight to the person so what are the parameters when we choose a particular display media first we have to audience specific that is to whom you will be presenting this information or to whom you are you are presenting the data visualization outcomes that is the uh, visuals of uh, the tool you have to be uh, think uh, from the per perspective of audience that is whether you are presenting it to a top level management or whether you are presenting your information to a uh, daily operation executive so depending on that you you can uh, collectively choose that which details are to be shown at which level and accordingly the choice of the chart or graph can be made now uh, be very much uh, focus specific that is what type of pattern you want to communicate through the display uh, media that you have chosen that is whether you want to communicate relationships that is been observed in the uh, various data items or entities in the organization or whether you want to compare for example sales of current year or last year or uh, the employee retention uh, throughout uh, a specific uh, duration and so on or whether you want to present composition that what department has contributed how much or which parameter is affecting how much or whether you have to present the distribution sort of information like uh, what what is the spread of the data entities or the variables uh, over a particular range of time and so on so your focus in presenting the information should be very clear that uh, what type of pattern with the relationship comparison composition or distribution should be your goal of uh, expressing the inference from the uh, db tool you really have to be simple although you are uh, handling very complicated or complex data but the person who is uh, the audience of your um, db presentation is a may not be always a techno savvy person so you really have to be very simple although you have to uh, present the complicated information and accordingly you have to choose a proper graph or a chart and whatever information we are presenting uh, be sure that you are presenting complete information because it it is going to affect the organization's uh, decision making or it is going to have a impact on enterprise level so you have to be careful that you present complete information discover the hidden, uh, hidden uh, patterns or relationship or association and present in a complete manner that this is what has been happening with the data in the organization be very decent on choosing the color combinations because uh, it is the one who which through which you are presenting yourself also uh, so be very much decent on presentation that it should be uh, catchy and at the same time it should be simple and easy to analyze always give proper labels to all the graphs charts or info infographics that you are using because this is going to help to interpret what you are trying to show so uh, this is 
nothing but um, the information that you are trying to pass on and hence you have to very much clear about the labels that you are using and overall your uh, graph or chart should be very much easy for interpretation it should uh, not be cluttered or clogged with unnecessary details that may be the part of the data but during the uh, decision making that information does not play a major role so you have to uh, be very much choosy on what information you want to uh, showcase and hence accordingly uh, ease of interpretation is also a parameter when you choose a particular type of a graph or a chart so i hope this is clear now let us explore the uh, display medias there are some broad categories as we have uh, discussed just now that what re we really want to focus do if we want to focus on comparison of the data entities or information variables then we need to choose a type of uh, graphs like bar charts line charts spider charts and so on if we want to highlight relationship in the data then other type of charts such as bubble uh, charts cycle, cycle diagrams or the tree structures are useful when we want to highlight relationships present in the data variables when we want to show the composition of something then uh, pie charts or funnel charts are used where uh, contribution of a data entity or atom can be shown and when we want to uh, elaborate the distribution of the uh, data atoms over a time span or other parameter then um, parameter graphs like scatter plots dot dot maps or area plots are useful but whatever may be your choice of the graph or a chart there has to be some common care that is to be taken that according to the broad category keep the goal in mind you clearly label the axis and improve the interpretability you remove the distracting elements which unnecessarily clog your uh, visual and avoid comparing more than 3 to 4 parameters otherwise uh, whatever was the complexity present in the original data is also reflected in the visual that you have chosen so uh, we want it we, you have to balance the beauty and the understanding as the parameter uh, be very decent on choice of the colors and communicate your user should be able to communicate with ease and simplicity so these are some uh, common care that is to be taken let us explore first um, display media which is a, a line chart as seen in the uh, shown in the diagram a line chart is nothing but it shows the um, variation that has occurred over the parameters and using different color combinations you can present uh, many parameters and compare them by choosing a line chart so line chart reveals the trends over time or over other some parameter chosen and multiple lines that can be shown at a time can compare trends between various parameters when you should opt this particular chart is when you want to compare correlated events similarities differences or variations that may have come for example comparing the sales in across different cities or comparing the sales across different uh, time spans can be uh, the examples of when you should be opting line chart to show the things best practices is avoid more than um, five to seven parameters in a uh, sh when you opt for a line chart because it then unnecessary clutters your uh, line chart and then getting the information uh, right information is a challenge also uh, you have to be very much specific upon uh, the choice of the colors that you you are making so uh, that will uh, make your line graph catchy and also simple to interpret another display media a bar chart uh, we often use the bar chart when we want to do comparison of between different data entities or variables they are used to visualize quantitative data and it's a great way to show and compare categorical data in which type of category or department has performed how and how much is nothing but quantitative so if you want to express that kind of thing then you go, you should opt bar chart for the presentation multiple bars can be shown to uh, 
at the same time to compare the performances across various parameters like sales done department wise or sales done city wise sales done uh, over different time spans and so on so when that is the situation bar chart should be opted a best practice is that again avoid comparing more than 5 to 7 uh, variables uh, in form of bars otherwise the diagram become very much um clock clocked with the uh, information uh, if more uh, chart parameters are to be compared then horizontal charts can be used um, then sorting can be used in between to show the uh, proper progress or um, skew that is been observed in the data and uh, place the you can also use stack bars when we have to deal with multiple variables Uh, across a situation then a stacking of that parameters can be done across a bar and stacked bar image can be chosen another type of comparison visual is nothing but a spider chart the diagram shows that there can be different axes so n number of parameters can be there for uh, comparison and by using different axes you can see a radar type or a spider type chart Uh, wherein we can put using different color combinations the different parameters so when purpose is the same as line chart that is comparison of parameters but because of number of axes a limitation comes you know, what you can show in a line chart and in that case a spider chart can help you so you can compare units from various angles and show the inclinations graphically that if you see for example if you choose the Uh, performance as a uh, inclination parameter then uh, you can depict that as one of the axes but if you have to show the conversion ratio of clients uh, of the same parameter then that can be depicted as another axis so uh, when you have to uh, choose multiple inclinations then a spider chart is a right option so when it should be used when describing data qualities comparing multiple objects on multiple dimensions spider chart is very much helpful the best practice while handling the spider chart is nothing but you clearly label all the axes and uh, do not make it very complicated by adding uh, more parameters uh, it is easy to analyze when there are at most for four to five parameters then a spider chart is easy uh, clear and simple so this is when a spider chart to be used then another goal of db tool can be uh, showing distributions that is available in the data if this is the case then scatter plot can be used now what is scatter plot it shows the distribution of the data variable across various parameters the posi uh, and the uh, dots are used to depict this position uh, the position of the dot on the graph denotes what qualities it possesses across a parameter so when to use scatter plot when you want to show distribution of objects over a parameter how uh, they are together or what is the variance observed at that time scatter plot is a best choice the best practice when you handle scatter plot is nothing but use pro proper color codes um, and uh, if there are overlapping regions then these color codes will help you to keep the information uh, easily uh differentiable so avoid clubbing more parameters if this is the case so this is all about scatter plot then there is another uh, type of chart which is called as a box plot box plot depicts the quarters in the horizontal fashion that is a data distribution uh, may be uh, very large but from minimum to maximum what is the variance uh, that can be distributed in first second third and fourth quarter so how much data lies around median of the data how much data lies around mean of the data that can be shown easily when we choose box plot to show distribution present among the data items the best practices to uh, use when you handle a box plot is nothing but use proper color coding if you are comparing multiple objects and avoid uh, again clubbing more parameters otherwise the Uh, information interpret interpretability reduces now another goal while uh, dealing with display media can be showing composition or dis contribution of various parameter 
uh, as a whole so uh, a pie chart commonly used to show percentage or proportion of the data in terms of a segment uh, where quant where summation of all the segments comes out to be 100 percent and data points should be mutually exclusive uh, overlapping regions should not be there in data items then uh, choosing a pie chart is a right option when we use a uh, pie chart it generally more than six segments are not preferred so that the in information that you are trying to showcase is easily interpretable so this is all about pie chart another type of chart is funnel chart funnel chart is often chosen when we want to utilize both geometrical format and the color coding and want to show uh, a particular process from top to bottom or bottom to top how it has gone and how much um, time or say contribution it has done so at that time choosing a funnel chart is a wise option it is very handy when there are multiple stages in the processes and we want to show the progress and uh, contribution needs to be depicted at that time also funnel chart becomes a uh, very handy options so again do not club more parameters and make your image easily interpretable when you want to show relationship between the data items then bubble chart can be the another uh, so, uh, type of dv to dv media when uh, it is to be used when we look at the relationship of various numerical variable we can use a bubble corresponding to a uh, particular color and then spread of this bubbles uh, over a data range can be depicted using a bubble chart so uh, its position in the um, chart will express about the qualities of that particular variable and size of the bubble also expresses about the volume of that particular data uh, variable inside the uh, information so when you want to show relationship for example whether uh, groups of variables are overlapping or non overlapping and their distribution and contribution as a size then bubble chart is a wise option and uh, this is how the information is uh, showcased using bubble chart some of the other chart examples are area chart which is nothing but uh, similar to line chart only only uh, area about below the particular line is shaded in different colors so that the coverage or distribution of the uh, data variables across that axis is very much clear when you want to showcase a particular process over a period of time then timeline is a best charge for example project planning stages or the production um, stages of a particular product so at that time timelines are uh, very much handy when you want to show distribution or uh, at that time density maps are used that is understand uh, the distribution of the parameters over a particular range then density maps are to be chosen uh, some of the db experts also mix up the uh, display medias so a mixed type of chart such as a line chart plus graph chart can also be expressed uh, to if uh, there is need of such a special thing so this is about various display media it is a very rich library uh, some 3d representations some mixed representation some representation of a hierarchical format or uh, in geographical maps can are also there there is a rich set of library available in python like tool to generate this uh, data visuals so uh, see, do not forget to see the resource section for more reading it will help you to get more insight into the different type of display media used in the db so i think you have um, hope that uh, the interest has been developed and you are clear about the display media let us take a deeper dive and progress further to the next topic which is nothing but a, a dashboard which is which is a data visualization tool that is used in the branch of business executive business intelligence welcome friends the topic of current discussion is a dashboard dashboard is nothing but a data visualization tool which is uh, having utmost importance in the field of business intelligence let us understand the concept for that let us understand what is meant by a key performance indicator of a business uh, or a kpi kpi is nothing but a measurable values which demonstrates 
how effectively company is progressing and achieving the key business objectives that is nothing but uh, kpi indicates a numerical value in terms of maybe percentage uh, to tell or uh, express a growth of a company uh, in achieving its business objective like for example sales has been reached to 25% or production has been reached to 75% and so on so these are some of the key performance indicators about the organization so organization use kpis to evaluate success at reaching their targets so they set their targets maybe at the start of a year and uh, take a, a regular review of how we have done the progress in a particular direction and for that these key performance indicators help the uh, business executives or the uh, management persons to review the progress so some of the high level uh, kpis are nothing but uh, those parameters which will tell you about the performance of the organization for example for example capturing the uh, number of customers or uh, having the popularity in that particular sector or uh, the percentage of revenue that that has been collected over a year and there are some lower level kpis also uh, they may be related to different departments like how much sales is done how much marketing uh, is done or um, how the hr is behaving or uh, exhibiting the performance and uh, support or complaint uh, co complaint or grievance resolvance uh, department may be there so how they are doing so these are some of uh, examples of lower level key performance indicators so overall kpis are nothing but those parameters that will tell you about the success of organizations towards achieving its goals and a, da a data visualization dashboard is nothing but a tool that will help you to monitor analyze this kpis so it is a business intelligence tool mostly used by the higher level uh, management like say managing directors ceos or the partners that uh, this tool can be helpful for them to uh, analyze how their business is performing so it is a data driven interface as shown in the diagram that a person can uh, choose uh, from different kpis and can choose uh, time span or other parameters and can monitor performance uh, at a enterprise level or at a department level or maybe the daily operation level so uh, it is nothing but a data driven user interface which collects and showcase the information about the organization and about the key performer indicators that has been predefined by the organization it provides you the objective view of the performance metrics so uh, just like a car has a dashboard and you choose uh, different buttons to choose between different functionalities a data uh, visualization dashboard will also have uh, certain um, user exp user interface from which the um, operating person will choose the functionality he wants to monitor or analyze and from this uh, multiple objectives that have been provided he can select one and analyze the performance in that particular sector or area so this is nothing but a data visualization dashboard which presents you um, the uh, interface for monitoring the various key performance indicators about the business now a dashboard can have a look uh, or a um, ambience as just shown in the diagram that uh, it can be a dynamic there can be parameter selection by the user data can be collected in background by the uh, db tool and can be represented in a format that the person wants to see so a data dashboard is a tool that provides centralized and interactive means of monitoring measuring analyzing and extracting relevant business insights from different data sets uh, or the key areas so a person that is handling a dashboard has a objective in my mind uh, that whether he wants to monitor or want to analyze or want to just extract uh, the information that is that what is going on in a particular department and so on so it is a um, it interactive keyboard key, interactive interface with which the person that who is operating is uh, interacting with and the uh, dashboard uh, responds in a visual way 
so it empowers the business executives to find out actionables uh, that is related to most burning issues in the organization maybe performances of the employees have slowed down so um, performance indicators parameter can be there uh, there can be n number of parameters ac across which performances can be checked so this is uh, the example of a uh, critical issue that may go on in a organization so uh, the business executives can uh, use this tool called as dashboard to interact with different such parameters and monitor what is happening with the performance of the employees so got the concept that it is nothing but a user interface given with which the uh, business executives interact and get the information in the form of visuals so there are uh, different types of dashboards that that exist it depends upon what sort of information you want to monitor analyze or extract from the organization and some of the examples are operational dashboard now what is operational dashboard it helps users to analyze data driven operations or generally the routine operations uh, example uh, suppose a business executive wants to see uh, the employee retention um, and how they are performing on day to day basis uh, or another example can be attendance so there can be uh, monitoring system uh, like a thumb impression so uh, th these are some routine operations and uh, to view this routine operation a interface is provided which is called as operational dashboard which deals with uh, data that is daily exhibited by the uh, customers or by the employees and so on so they deliver information about a thing or a an entity an example is a financial trading application where real time information about the stocks that is continuously rising or falling or what is the price at a particular Uh, moment that has been shown so um, it is a kind of a dashboard which is showing you real time information uh, about the operations that are going on there can be another type of dashboards with different intent which are called as analytical dashboard which have the goal of helping the users to analyze large and complex data unlike the operational dashboard which handle uh, data of daily operations this analytical dashboard will handle data at a, a higher perspective maybe at a department level or at enterprise level so they deliver big picture and meaningful insights about impact of a particular parameter uh, or uh, impact on a entity uh, example of analytical dashboards is a google analytics uh, it is nothing but a web analytics uh, tool which is used to show, uh, inspect how the customers are uh, reacting to a particular website which parts they are searching which parts they are browsing which parts they are reading which part of the website they are spending more time on and which parts are often ignored such analysis can be drawn from the google analytics so it provides a uh, organization who owns that particular website that what should be the changes done in the web interface so that there is better conversion of the uh, visitors into customers so this is uh, the way the analytical dashboards will perform now what are the uh, other type of dashboard it is one very important type of dashboard is strategic dashboard uh, it is nothing but it will help the uh, top management persons to take decisions about the Uh, organization by monitoring the key performance indicators so they deliver insights about parameters which have enterprise wide impact on the businesses so a uh, more higher picture is provided by a, a strategic dashboard example is analysis of sales productions complaints and so on which indirect uh, which have direct impact on the performance of the organizations so these are different uh, dashboard types let us now discuss what are the challenges when a dashboard is to be created or is to be designed you are seeing one in the diagram uh, when you are designing a dashboard you really very have to be decent uh, on making it uh, of good appearance so uh, many functions are there or many uh, kpis may be there but uh, 
which one to focus on which one will be um, of interest to which particular level of management that is a question so accordingly you have to choose different kpis and have to decent decent on presenting this information through the interface uh, always use consistent naming conventions when it is a profit uh, label is given in one chart that should be followed in all other charts related to this particular analysis or profit analysis so do not change naming conventions stick to one naming conventions and uh, user will be or the one who is handling your dashboard will be find it comfortable otherwise he comes across various terms and may uh, have a impression that this is something else and not related to say profit so uh, once you fix up the naming convention stick to that and follow the same through all the visuals that you have created your dashboard should be easy to understand and operate so maybe uh, similar looking functions or similar behaving function should be kept together uh, or the functions that are of uh, interest to a particular level of management should be kept together uh, other unnecessary uh, uh, interfaces need not be given to a particular top management persons and so on so uh, keep it easy to understand and operate by only focusing on what analysis a particular type of a person may be interested in using that dashboard data presentation uh, data should not neither be hidden nor be overloaded in a visual that you have created so complete information should also be there so you really have to balance between beauty and what the understanding that a person may developed by looking at the dashboard uh, visual uh, it should be priority prioritize uh, laid on the dashboard that is the function which is of utmost importance should be seen on the first screen or that functionality should be highlighted or should be uh, easily accessible or should get quickly the attention of the user so accordingly the flow can be prioritized when you are dealing with multiple kpis and accordingly they can be placed on the dashboard Adapli adaptability to different screen sizes is uh, also a challenge people may want to see it on a big screen or limited uh, screen size like mobiles or other screens like ipads or any laptops so uh, whatever may be the uh, screen size your dashboard should be still decent robust and should still clearly give uh, the same behavior uh, so adaptability to different screen configuration sizes is another issue and this should be considered while yeah. designing of the dashboard now let us discuss which are different dashboard tools uh, examples are there which are free that is uh, open source they are available one such popular example is cfa uh, a cloud based dashboard tool which pulls the data from advertising industries emails uh, marketing sales finances social media support and web analytics and uh, brings this information all together so note that a uh, dashboard tool can pull the data from third party multiple uh, resources or organizations and can provide you the uh, uh, concise review or a uh, inference from the information so uh, this particular uh, tool connects uh, over to 1500 third party applications uh, including google analytics salesforce uh, mailchimp or the facebook wordpress etc and presents you information uh, about different data in the uh, which may lie at different uh, portals or different uh, sources so maybe your customer your uh, owner of a business and your customers are dealing with n number of um, resources through emails also through social media also through some their web uh, um, browsing history also you can collect information from the uh, these different resources and can uh, sp specifically design the policies for dealing with a particular type of customer so you will need data uh, from about a customer from all these different resources and this is the tool which helps you to pull data from these different third party organizations it can also import internal business data that is lying in your organization about that customer plus the extra data which gives you meaningful insight about how that customer is behaving another such uh, tool is nothing but a zoho analytics it is a 
सेल्फ सर्विस बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस टूल्स दैट हेल्प्स यूजर्स क्रिएट डैशबोर्ड टू मेजर द बिजनेस मेट्रिक्स सो जोहो ऑल्सो कनेक्ट्स टू मल्टीपल सोर्सेस इंक्लूडिंग ड्रॉप बॉक्स और गूगल ड्राइव्स मेनी रिलेशनल डेटाबेस ऑल्सो इट कैन हैंडल सच एज ओरैकल और साइबेस और इट कैन ऑल्सो कनेक्ट टू क्लाउड डेटाबेस सच एज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एस क्यू एल और एमेजॉन रेडशिफ्ट सो कनेक्टिंग टू डीज डिफरेंट रिसोर्सेस इट गैदर्स डेटा अबाउट पीपल और द कस्टमर्स और द एम्प्लॉज एंड कैन प्रेजेंट यू सॉर्ट ऑफ एनालिसिस इन फ्रंट ऑफ विजुअल्स सो इट ऑल्सो सपोर्ट्स मैन्युअल इम्पोर्ट्स फ्रॉम द डेटा दैट मे लाई इन सी एस वी फाइल एक्सेल फाइल्स जेसन और एस टेम एल फाइल्स एंड कैन प्रेजेंट यू द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन इंटेंडेड फॉर्मेट सो दीज आर डिफरेंट डैशबोर्ड टूल्स दिस इज वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स हाउ गूगल एनालिटिक्स इज प्रोड्यूसिंग द एनालिसिस अबाउट द वेबसाइट विजिट्स और द ट्रैफिक दैट इज बीन जनरेटेड ऑन द वेबसाइट ऑफ अ कंपनी मे बी नंबर ऑफ विजिटर्स हाउ मेनी टाइम दे स्पेंड और हाउ हाउट इज द कन्वर्जन रेशो ऑफ विजिटर टू सब्सक्राइबर एंड सो ऑन सो गूगल एनालिटिक्स इज अ टाइप ऑफ अ एनालिटिकल डैशबोर्ड एंड दिस इज अ सैम्पल इमेज फ्रॉम जोहो एनालिटिक्स डैशबोर्ड अबाउट सेल्स एंड प्रॉफिट in which uh, time sector how much sales is generated how much profit is earned and so on so these are really the points of concerns to the business executives and this is what uh, finally matters to them to take their businesses to the next levels and hence dashboards are really a helpful tool in the field of business intelligence so i hope i have explored more and much on the concepts of dashboard let us understand further uh, what is lying there is design principles how do you finally go on designing a dashboard what care should be taken so that the dashboard delivers the most to the user so let us discuss the next that is uh, design principles related to dashboards welcome to the next session uh, dashboard design principles after knowing the details of dashboard let us now discuss what care should be taken while designing the dashboard so that it is used uh, the way Uh, you want and it is uh, it is found as the most important handy and quick tool for the business owners to get proper ins inferences from the data in their organization so a careful design of dashboard is also uh, very much important and this session will highlight the same so we have seen previously that dashboard is a business intelligence tool which helps the uh, different levels of management in a business to deal with uh, the information uh, or the data that is there in organization in a visual or graphical format so it's a interactive uh, tool in which the user of the tool can visually uh, see the what is happening with the data in the organization and can find actionables to the uh, most burning issues in the organization or can redefine or reschedule uh, their business goals and uh, come up with the better chances of enhancing their businesses uh, we also discuss some of the dashboard design uh, challenges uh, because of these challenges it becomes very much important that a dashboard should be uh, designed with the utmost care so that it delivers the one uh, that de delivers that particular output which you intend as a designer so uh, if this is Uh, the concern then the uh, uh, get start principles will help you now these are the dashboard design principles any user interface uh, is used by a particular user or is found uh, useful uh, to a user when it gives enriched user experience so uh, if you want your dashboard to be a popular if you want your dashboard to be used at a level you want then you should be uh, following this gestalt principle which guide you about how the dashboard should be designed the gestalt word is a german word and it means pattern so you there exist a uh, um, observations that how uh, human brain perceives different pa patterns when they are present visually and then how he chooses or he sh chooses to respond to these patterns so after studying these observations um, uh, certain guidelines have been made and these are called as gestalt principles they are based on human's brain's perception and they quickly elevate the uh, user interface uh, 
uh, to a level where the user of the interface can seamlessly and in a natural way can uh, operate or respond to the controls placed over the interface. Also, it makes user to uh, use that interface in an intended manner. The user should be using it to gain maximum out of that tool or the dashboard. So let us quickly take a um, view into this gestalt principle. The first principle is called as figure ground principle as the figure shows. It is about choosing the foreground and background of the uh, control button icon whatever you are placing on your dashboard. So you human brain perceives those figures which appear prominent either in foreground or in background and hence will respond to that pattern first. So uh, it is a guide about what uh, while designing the dashboard controls what focus uh, should be given on uh, what color combinations should be chosen so that uh, they are firstly brought uh, to the notice of the user and the user responds accordingly to these controls. Some of the famous logos uh, are put here as an example. You can see in Coral Zoo image uh, different animals can be seen because the foreground background colors have been chosen accordingly or in Hope for African Children initiative we can see the um, image of an adult and a child. So uh, this is the effect of the color combinations that have been chosen. So if you want a certain thing to become quickly noticeable to the user then use it in a proper foreground or a background as shown in this example. Right. Now next principle is about similarity. Uh, a human brain finds uh, the similar looking uh, icons and uh, perceives that or thinks that they may be having similar functionality or uh, because they are looking similar they may be behaving similarly or they are allocated to a similar task. So uh, a guide here is that either using uh, color combination shapes or organization that is placements of the control you can um, put the similar looking or the buttons who have similar functionality uh, so that the human brain thinks and responds to uh, these controls accordingly because uh, you choose them to be similar the um, user of the dashboard will find them to for the similar use uh, as an example the here uh, dashboard is shown where uh, similar looking instead of haphazardly placing the controls over the dashboard screen it is been placed uh, similar looking objects we, which deal with similar functionalities they have been chosen and placed together or color combinations have been chosen accordingly or their placement have been done accordingly so this is the principle of uh, similarity uh, as shown in this diagram uh, name password and email are required for sign up so name also sounds to be the same uh, functionality uh, uh, about the user information so it should be again be put in a similar way the other two controls have been put so this is the uh, principle of similarity now next is principle of proximity which says that things that are closer to each other appear to be more related to the human brain so instead of placing them apart from each other then why not to put them in a proximity so again using different uh, color shapes and organization you can put these images in a better proximity uh, because they are related to each other. As an example this dashboard uh, instead of just putting the controls um, without any organization the proximity principle will uh, put together those controls which are related to each other or related to similar mission or a task or a purpose or this is another example where the uh, controls have been put in a way that uh, they um, look neat and clean also the design instead of the cluttered and clogged design like this the proximity principle will lay them according to uh, how they relate with each other now next principle is about closure when you see a complex uh, kind of a um, spread of pixels icons or lines or drawings the human brain often tries to get uh, a pattern of out of it so more focus is on single recognizable pattern which is shown uh, over a complicated image so here we can see a moving dot instead of just the spread of the black pixels 
so uh, we can use this principle of closure with limited screen size there is often a um, challenge that the screen may get clogged and in now in that to place better icons you can use the principle of closure like the fame this has been used in famous logos of ibm adidas unilever where we know that adidas is a brand name which designs sport shoes and hence the tracks are shown here uh, in the adidas logos the running tracks or in this example because it is a complex arrangement of other icons and we want to uh, show this pattern prominently then principle of closure can help you if this is the situation now next principle is about common region common region it is related that whenever the atoms or buttons or controls are kept inside a boundary inside a common region then the user brain will think that uh, they are closely related to each other or uh, related to a similar purpose and hence uh, the arrangement of the controls on a dashboard should be made accordingly so here we can see that in this example instead of this arrangement when we put them inside a boundary then it gives a better look or a better perception that this may be uh, related to a similar function or from this example also whenever controls are placed inside boundary uh, then they are more uh, interpretable and if there are multiple controls in a one boundary uh, or a common region we find that they may be related with similar task or a purpose and the last principle focal point uh, it states that the object which visually stands out different from other objects is the one to which the user will interact first or it gets noticed by the user first so user attention will always will go there as seen shown in this diagram we want user to go for a free trial and hence uh, this has, this button has been shown accordingly with different color so focal point principle says that on your dashboard controls if you want to use you know, make user to understand um, or to quickly notice some important uh, notifications or uh, some important functionality first then put it out separate using the focal point principle of gestalt so conclusion great designers have thought of this powerful role of human psychology that plays in visual perception and it is how the user uh, user minds interprets the patterns that are seen by the human eyes and uh, then accordingly the user chooses how to react to these components and uh, whatever gestalt principles i just explored will help you to create your dashboard uh, with uh, these guidelines and when it is um, neatly and cleanly designed then better are the chances that it will be used at the optimum level so this is how the course uh, has focused on various aspects of data visualization we covered data visualization basics benefits various display medias used in here, used in uh, data visualization the dash concept of dashboard and the related design principles so i hope i have um, geared up your interest uh, for doing more in data visualization so do not stop here if you are interested and want to dig further then uh, go for a uh, advanced techniques there are uh, there exist three set of uh, display media library for especially designed for high dimensional data so you can uh, see that and get more of it uh, you can do a hands off course that is get a feel of designing a dashboard by using fb analytics which uh, allows you to create a, a dashboard uh, interface and uh, it connects to in background to various uh, resources right from databases to different third party resources on the web Uh, you can do a certification course in business intelligence concepts tools and applications this is very interesting uh, sector where uh, you can put your creativity also and can uh, make it uh, measurable at the levels of bi uh, creating excel dashboard can be another exercise you can uh, dig more into excel dashboards how it is creating the visuals from the excel data so this is how uh, i advise you to go further in the data visualization uh, i hope i could explain uh, and clear your concepts uh, related to data visualization do not stop here start chasing your dream in the career path of yours as a data visualization expert or a consultant best wishes for any query or feedback you can contact me thank you